There is a roadmap to net zero. There is a roadmap to reduce our carbon emissions. Unfortunately, that roadmap, as it's planned, requires a massive increase in the amount of materials that we use. Whilst there is a great driver to reduce CO2 emissions and all of our work embraces that, in parallel we need to be mindful that we're also reducing our materials resource depletion. We're using our materials resources in the most beneficial and mindful ways possible. I'm Dr Jenny Baker, I lead the electrochemical energy storage team here at Specific. There's a very useful periodic table that's been designed to highlight critical raw materials. So the size of the elements within this table indicate its earth abundancy. The colour represents how critical it is. You also see the elements which are used in mobile phone production. And what you'll see is there's a lot of commonality between those elements used and to manufacture batteries. In order to improve the sustainability of lithium ion phosphate batteries further, we need to look at increasing their lifetime or reducing the energy input manufacturing the batteries. However, to make the next step change, we need to look at a different chemistry. And that's where my research comes in, looking at sodium ion batteries. Sodium ion batteries use sodium instead of lithium. That's initially an advantage because uh, sodium is very earth abundant and it's able to be extracted at, at lower costs than lithium ion. So lower environmental costs and also lower financial costs. So this is a win-win situation. So one of the areas of research that we look at is solid state sodium ion batteries processing. Because these are ceramic materials, they need to be sintered at incredibly high temperatures. One area that we're looking to explore is the use of radiative heating technologies in order to sinter in situ these ceramic materials. It will reduce the energy consumption because the radiative heating technologies will just heat the material that we want to heat up instead of the surrounding air. And that will then reduce both the cost and the environmental cost of manufacturing those batteries. Mm -hmm.